Welcome to an MTD Technical Corner, and we're going to talk a little bit about, well, I don't know about you guys, I've not got a third eye, but we're going to talk about something called 3E Tech, which is third eye tech, and it's all about fine boring. Um, and we'll have to, and me, we'll have to spend a lot of time in the boring industry from, from almost 100 years, right? That is correct. And uh, yeah, we, we do a lot of finishing application at Wallhopter, and I think that's also with the breadth of fine boring tools that we have available for every application. We have the right tool to fit everybody's or every needs as far as the uh, diameter that needs to be finished uh, down to 0.4 as the smallest diameter that we have available uh, with our variable tool, which goes up to uh, the biggest diameter that we can sh uh, machine off the shelf up to 3,255 millimeters. I was smiling there because I knew exactly what you were <laughs> going to say. It's absolutely huge. Yeah, and those big boring bars, uh, they are really fun to, to actually work with. But again, also on those big diameters, uh, the tolerances might a little bit more uh, open. Uh, so, uh, But the part is very expensive, so you don't really want to... Uh, grab the part on the last application, like finishing always is. Absolutely, it's probably one of the most important uh, operations you can do, even uh, aside from all the roughing and the, the finished machining and whatnot, the, the boring needs to be absolutely right, otherwise the part is not gonna go out. Um, and so that's why you need to make sure that you're setting the boring bar correctly. Now, why are, we, why are boring bars adjustable and how would you adjust them before you had this kind of digital adjustment? Boring bars needs to be adjustable because, you know, uh, as smaller your uh, diameter gets, the, uh, your tolerances are tighter. Uh, so you cannot just use a regular presetter uh, to get your cutting edges to the right diameter because you're always going to have a difference between the presetter and the machine that you're going to uh, later machine on. So you need a kind of adjustability when you're making your first test cut. And from the test cut, uh, you would uh, adjust it to the final diameter you need. And how normally would you adjust a boring bar? What would you be reading off? Yeah, usually, uh, or the majority of nowadays tools, they have a vernier uh, a dial, uh, where you have uh, hash marks on it from mark to mark, it's about 10 microns. And then uh, on the vernier, you can set it down to two microns, but it's always a little bit more difficult to read, uh, especially in machining environments where lightning maybe is not as good. So. It, gets a little bit like gassing, especially if you want to adjust microns. Absolutely, you can imagine uh, these boring bars are normally in situ, they'll be in the machine tool, it might be horizontal, it might be vertical. You've got to sit there, you're getting dripped on in coolant, you're there that twisting the little vernier, trying to read this tiny little scale, you can see it's quite small. Um, and that is, it's not an easy thing to do, it's doable, but it's not an easy, easy. thing to do. Um, what have you got here and how does it make that a much easier process? So what we have here is our digital, uh, display, 3 e tech display, that actually has a separate connection that we can actually click uh, the 3E display on the fine boring head, uh, as we see here with our variable. Uh, and then we would switch on the display, zero it out, and from there we would make our adjustment. But also we can go it now to our latest uh, addition to our uh, a 3 ETAC family, which are our 410 series of tool, which starts from the diameter 20 millimeter, which actually is the smallest boring tool that actually can be adjusted uh, digitally. We click it on again, we zero it out, and then we are making our adjustment. We don't have to look at the dial, and we can adjust it in both ways, plus, minus. We don't have to care about backlash anymore because we are actually measuring the movement of the slide. So backlash doesn't really occur, uh, doesn't really matter to us anymore because back then only dial, you would have to turn a half turn back and then get it to the smaller diameter and still remember on what hash line I need to actually set it to. And I see there's a bit of an anal analog here to kind of a manual lathe or a mill where you would have, before you'd be reading off the dials on the handles, but every manual lathe mill now has a DRO which measures exactly what the axes are doing. This is kind of new technology and now you can apply it to boring bars. You need to have. Oh yeah, because you know what you see is what you get and you can set it down to two microns without any uh, doubts or you can always can repeat that as well. So if you're fine finishing critical applications in high value parts, you need to make sure you're doing those bore finishes absolutely right. Check out 3E Tech, uh, made by Volhalter and supplied by Allied Machine.